<laughs> Hi, I'm Tom Oliver. I'm at a project in the Cambodian Wildlife Sanctuary. Now this project established between the Save the Elephant Foundation and the Cambodian government aims to re-establish the forest which was destroyed by the logging industry and fires set intentionally by local villagers and poachers. Now the project is working to reforest this area hoping to bring back a wild habitat as well as providing jobs for local villagers who in turn will support their own environment. The area I'm in is called Prasead. It's near Siem Reap in northern Cambodia. The jungle here used to be very dense and it was home to thousands of wild elephants. Well, with the loss of habitat and due to the more recent civil war, landmines, the entire wild elephant population has disappeared. So incidentally, thank goodness, have the landmines. This joint project covers 25,000 acres and it provides protected space for elephants from different areas of Cambodia before they're released back into the wild. In 2013, two elephants were rescued from the logging industries and they were brought here. They were brought here to prove to disbelievers that domestic elephants can indeed survive on their own in the jungle. Today, I will take you back to the wild and we shall follow those two domestic elephants to see how they survive in the forest. Kam Lin and Aaron Rai began their journey to the sanctuary, which took about two days, from a province in eastern Cambodia. Although they were familiar with this type of terrain, the calmness and tranquility of their new home was very different to what they were used to. After they arrived, the elephants needed mahouts to introduce them to their new home and help them regain their trust of the forest. Within two years, Kum Lin and Aaron Rai had regained their wild nature. Come on, let's follow them. I followed them to see what they were eating in the jungle. And this is what I discovered. The elephants are not eating man-grown pineapple or watermelon. They're eating wild fruits, which they find on their own. Elephants have a fantastic olfactory nerve at the end of the trunk that allows them to pick up the smell of food from a great distance away. In the wild, they also eat tree bark, leaves, grass, and obtain minerals from natural salt licks. Even old and blind elephants can survive with this great sense of smell. That is just beautiful to see. Come with me. According to scientific research on animal intelligence, elephants are the third smartest behind dolphins and humans. Similar brain structure between humans and elephants mean that they too can think and plan their lives, analyze information and solve problems. Using their natural instincts, elephants are aware when there is danger and can avoid it. Also, it's true 
an elephant never forgets. Studies have shown that they have an amazing memory and can memorize the route to food sources. Like humans, elephants are very social creatures. They can form a deep love for each other, but sometimes a dislike as well. Within their herd, they're able to find food and water more effectively, be protected in the forest, and support each other when feeling scared, sad or lonely. Through their communication, elephants can relay past experience and knowledge from generation to generation. Their social skills are clearly very advanced and complicated, making it difficult for us humans to fully understand. Where do they find water, you ask? Well, with sensitive nerve endings in their feet, they can detect the vibrations of underground streams. They're also able to calculate how deep the water is flowing, and by using their powerful trunk and digging with their feet, they make their own pond. This is perfect for drinking and mud baths, which protect them from bugs and insects. When they have food and water, they survive in the jungle. The past has proven how flexible the Asian elephant is. After all, they were all wild before they were forced to live with humans. So it stands to reason they can learn quite naturally how to live in the forest once more. This project is proof that domestic and captive elephants can survive in the jungle. What we can do is give them a chance and help them get back to the forest, letting them do what comes naturally. With the success of this pilot project, it opens the door for many more elephants to be happy in the wild. And I hope in the future, the wonderful Cambodian Wildlife Sanctuary will be home to many more rescued elephants from all over Cambodia. Then they can live out their lives in freedom, just as their ancestors did. If you would like to help, please go to our website at www.saveelephant.org. All that remains for me to say is, Thank you very much. Goodbye.